everyone welcome back to my channel so happy you stopped by and uh, I look forward to spending some time with you my name is Kelly and this is the Diva Den so today I am participating in an invite and this one is being hosted by my friend Corinna from Life's Little Things and I'll be sure to link her channel below and go check her out she is fantastic she is so sweet and so genuine and she does a lot of DIY she does a lot of cooking and a grocery haul so if you're looking for meal ideas she's the girl to go check out she does some really great stuff and of course her home decor all kinds of things she really is a really sweet person so be sure to check out her channel so she issued this invite and it's very simple it's called a crafty Christmas challenge 2018 and all it is is to make a craft for Christmas for your home and to share it with everybody so I am always game for one of these DIYs. I love doing Christmas DIYs and uh, there's been a few of them this season but they're always fun to do. So I'm going to show you what I had planned to make. So I have this spot in my hallway in as you come in my door and I have a picture there but I've always wanted something Christmassy there. I, I just leave the picture there it's just easier but I've always wanted something so that when my guests first come in there's just something there to to start them off into my home for Christmas so I uh, looked on Pinterest you know Pinterest is a wealth of information and I came across a, a few signs that I I loved and I thought okay that's what I'm going to make and uh, I, I, I I hope it turns out so we'll see so I hope you enjoy this so for this invite I decided to make a, a, a Christmas wall hanging that spells out joy j-o-y and for that I simply went to Michaels to pick up a few supplies and I picked up the J and the Y in their wood lettering and they're already painted white and to make this even easier I want it white so there's really no point in painting it. I just want it very simple, very clean. So I'm going to leave them white. Pretty easy so far, right? Then I went to my local dollar store and I picked up this grapevine wreath that has a kind of wood distressed look to it. And I loved that. I didn't want it dark wood. So when I saw this, I thought this would be perfect to go with the white lettering because it has a little bit of that farmhouse that rustic look already in the distressed <clears throat> excuse me so this is what I'm going to use for the O and then I'm simply going to add something to the O to make it pop um, I have some items here I'm thinking of adding something like this greenery just on the side just something to give it a little bit of more of that Christmas feeling and that's it really it's just kind of wiring it all together and hanging it on the wall it really couldn't be any easier so I guess I, I'll get putting this this sign this joy sign together okay so first things first I'm just placing it on my work table trying to figure out how I want to wire this thing together placing the J and the Y at the top and bottom and trying to figure out how to how to get it on. And uh, this wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. You can see I, I struggle here quite a bit, but I managed to figure something out. Well, something I thought was going to work in the end. So once I had the letters all wired on, it was now time to make the wreath part look prettier. So I'm just taking this dollar store pick and I'm just going to hot glue it onto the side of the wreath. Okay, now it's time to hang it up and see how it looks. So here's my DIY. Christmassy craft for 2018 and it's okay is it the greatest no I have to work on the Y because it's a little crooked but you know 
that's kind of the charm of it because I made it and it, yeah I have some work to do on it but I'll fluff it and fix it I added in some gold I thought it just needed a little bit of sparkle to add to it okay whoa 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 stop stop that was just not cute that I was not happy with the way that was turning out so I took it down and I decided to retry try to fix it it just wasn't working for me and why I wanted to show you what had happened was just to show you that stuff happens it doesn't always turn out the way you think and you might have to rework it and that's okay so I think no, I know I like it better now than what it was before. So I'm going to show you how I fixed it. Here it is. This is more what I was hoping it would have looked like to begin with. So what I did was I took it down. I, yes, I pried it off the wreath, uh, the letters, because I stupidly hot glued them on before I realized that it was not going to work. I took off the twine that I used and I've actually hung the letters from the wreath and the wreath from this letter with fishing lines so you can't really see it. And then to put it on the wall, the J is hooked onto my picture hanging hook that was there already. Now the Y was a little top heavy so I have just stuck a little bit of two-way tape on the bottom to keep it in place. But otherwise, this looks so much better and I'm so much happier with it. I'll probably put another piece of tape on this part of the Y uh, just to keep it flatter against the wall. But this looks so much better than it did. I hope you agree. I'd love to know in the comments below. The other one, I thought it was cute. It wasn't cute. I lived with it for about an hour and then I had to take it down. It just was not working for me. But this I'm much happier with. I love the way it looks as you come in the house. So yeah, this I think looks much, much better. I want to thank Corinna so much for hosting this crafty Christmas challenge and I hope you have learned a little something. You know, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if it doesn't turn out. That's the way it goes. And uh, just try to make it work for you. It's all about loving what you have in your home and not worrying about what other people think. But thank you, Corinna, this was fun. It was a challenge. It was a challenge, but I enjoyed it immensely and I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with. I'll be sure to link the playlist below and Corinna's ch uh, channel so you can go check her out. She's wonderful. She does some really great crafts, cooking, cleaning. She's an amazing cook. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourself and if you're new here you'll think about subscribing by hitting that red button below and if you enjoyed this video think about giving it a thumbs up and maybe even sharing it with some friends and family members who might be thinking of trying a craft or two for Christmas or wondering what they could do. Maybe they'll enjoy this one so I'd love it if you could share it with them. So until next time guys I hope you're having a fabulous Christmas season and I'll see you next time. Bye you guys.